Heck yeah. Check that out. I thought I thought he was leaving car parts behind for a second. All right, plowing new tracks, headed up the mountain. Awesome. At about 3,300 feet of elevation, and we're headed for about 5,000. So we'll see if the snow picks up. Hello and welcome back to this year's iteration of the Solstice Camp Trip with the guys. So, if my voice sounds pretty bad, I'm sorry. I'm obviously getting over a cold and I'll try and talk as little as possible. But I do want to add a little bit of narration to this trip. At this point, we're all aired down to about 15 PSI. A couple of us are maybe hovering more around 10. The snow is slowly building as we get higher into elevation, the temperature dropping from around 33 to maybe 30-ish uh, at the final campsite. But we continue onward and it just slowly becomes more and more beautiful of a winter wonderland. So this year I was again driving my 2024 runner and I was accompanied by a handful of buddies driving three additional vehicles, including another Forerunner and two Tacomas, a second and a third gen. Um, it, you might see a couple other vehicles later on in the video, and if you have a keen eye, you'll notice that they weren't in the original crew. As we made our way up the mountain, pretty close to the top, uh, two more vehicles caught up with us, a Tacoma and another Forerunner out of Olympia. And it was two guys, they were super cool, and they just kind of were, they were grateful that we were plowing tracks ahead of them, and they jumped right in to help us with all the uh, shoveling and recovery gear and all of that. So it was, uh, it turned into like a pretty good six vehicle crew. At this point, you know, I'm kind of stuck in the corner, and the hairpins were getting more and more difficult as the snow uh, got deeper and deeper. The thing about being the lead vehicle is that as you plow the track out, the people following you usually have no problem at all getting up, especially in these snow conditions. So once we uh, all put in the effort to get my vehicle through, everyone else had really no problem at all just cruising right up behind me. Hold up. The last couple of turns towards the very top were pretty sharp hairpins, and they were also cambered in towards the apex. So as you see me attack these and sliding my back end towards that corner, well, that's why. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. I think the ideal move is to try and hit it from an outside radius. That way you're attacking it from kind of a higher approach angle. But again, the snow just kind of moves you to where the snow wants to move you. And uh, as you see, I try a couple times. Eventually, I get through. I'm gonna try it. It's all right. I'm backing up. Depending on the conditions, this is kind of a situation where having your locker in the rear engaged uh, might not necessarily be the best option. Uh, having those two wheels turning at the same time and not allowing one to stop when it loses traction can actually cause your back end to sort of crab walk out. So. As you'll see, I, I kind of turn mine on and off depending on you know what I'm giving a try. And uh, it really is up to the driver to sort of figure out what's the best option.
foot back right into where you are, Kurt. Yeah. Or get out of the way. Straight shot it from there, Zach. the window. I would go forward, Zach, so we get these under. Go forward now. See if we get these under. Oh. Okay. Let's break through up there. This one's good. Yeah. Check that out. I thought I thought he was leaving car parts behind for a second. Toyota Power. I don't know if you noticed, but when the guy was doing his thing, you still going? Fuck. <laughs> you might be able to just back up and hit it again. All right, hold hold on. Let's uh let's throw the traction boards under. Coming up here, we approached a straightaway right after a hairpin where the trail was pretty off cambered actually. And uh, no matter what I did, I always ended up sliding my back end more and more off the trail. So at this point, we did engage a winch. Um, we used it to sort of just aid in keeping straight on the path. Once I got up just a little bit past where the winch is attached there, um, I was able to stop using the winch and just go on my own full power. Towards the end, as we got into the deeper and deeper stuff, our technique kind of evolved to the point where we wanted to try and float on top of the snow as much as possible. Now, none of us have super huge snow tires. 
I think the biggest tire that we were all running was about a 33. So we used uh, just kind of a train of traction boards that we laid out, basically a rainbow bridge, and uh, just drove up on top of them. In this case, uh, you'll see that sometimes I keep going if I feel like I have momentum, but in other cases, we just drove until we reached the end of the bridge, stopped on a traction board, took the other mats out, and then continued the road, and then just kept driving on them and on them and on them. And just like before, once a vehicle is through, then the vehicles coming up behind just really have no problem at all. I think between all of us, we had a total of 16 traction boards that we all brought, and we used every single one of them on this trip. This little area down here that I made it to is the final campsite area. And uh, the next couple hours involve just trying to flatten it all out and turn it into a campsite. So down these big trees here, if you take a left there, it loops back around. Okay. This is it. Getting back up here can be... After realizing the vehicle wasn't budging at all, pushing that snow, we ended up creating a ramp of traction boards and the winch to kind of pull ourselves up onto it. That worked well. Here we are in the heavy snow. We're all just taking turns, kind of flattening out the area with our vehicles, creating kind of an area where we can stand and camp. All done after a night of camping leaving this beautiful camp spot not a crazy view but gorgeous snow all around maybe at least three three feet of powdery snow on top of some sort of base of maybe a foot and then we got about six to eight inches last night Every year we learn more and more about what works and what doesn't work in this Pacific Northwest snow in our region. And uh, every year we get better and better. This year our winter camp setup was much more superior than the first year we went out. And our recovery gear was infinitely better this go around. Two of our vehicles had winches. We had 16 recovery boards like I mentioned before. We had tons and tons of different shovels and gear and uh, we were all dressed for the weather, so it really worked out just phenomenally. At this point, we're making our way out, which ended up being just like super easy with the trail already packed out from the night before. Just a, a small layer of, of powdery snow on top that was no problem at all to drive through, and really just the nice new layer of snow just made everything look gorgeous. So 
We slowly made our way down off the mountain, which in itself is a very weird experience as well, coming from deep, deep snow at the top all the way down to completely zero snow at the very base before making our way home. A lot easier going downhill. Yep, he's right behind me and we're all coming down. stop at the very bottom intersection with the main road and then uh, wait for Well, if you made it this far, I'm, I'm quite impressed to be honest. So here at the very bottom, you can see there's just about no snow at all. It's basically a rainforest down there. And uh, we aired up, hung out for a bit, and then hit the road to head home. So that uh, brings me to the end of this video. I uh, really appreciate you stopping by the channel and checking it out. I do have more videos to come, including a handful of DIY videos that I've already recorded. I just need to take the time to make the video itself. It really does take quite a lot of time, and uh, time has been pretty short for me lately with uh, the baby and just kind of everything that we've got going on in our lives. So uh, stick around if you'd like, and uh, you know I'll, I'll have more stuff coming out, especially more winter camping trips this, uh, this winter, and then uh, more stuff in the spring and summer. So uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.